Today we will be showing how to do a head-to-toe physical assessment along with checking the cranial nerves. Lee Creasy will play the role as nurse, Kelly Gibson is playing the role as patient, and Miranda Mays is the narrator. The nurse will not first enter the room, introduce self to patient, and state what she plans to do. Good morning, my name is Lee. I'm going to be a nurse this morning. I'm going to do a head to toe assessment on you this morning. I'm going to wash my hands and then I'll be back with you. Okay, thank you. At this time, the nurse will wash her hands and when she comes back, she'll identify the patient and provide for privacy. At this time, the nurse will assess patient to place, time, and situation. And Kelly, do you know where you are this morning? I'm at GTCC. And do you know what day of the week it is? It is Monday. And why are you here? Um, for my physical assessment. Okay. Now the nurse will assess her pain level on a scale of 0 to 10. Are you having any pain? No, ma'am. And if I were to say any pain from 0 to 10, what would your scale be? 0. The nurse has put on gloves and now she will assess scalp for lacerations, hematomas, lice, and dry scalp. Just going to check your head. Okay. You feel any pain where I'm doing this? No, ma'am. Okay. And her hair is clean. I don't show any bumps. Don't feel any bumps. I'll show any lacerations. No infestations in the hair. Now the nurse will assess facial symmetry. Now the nurse will assess for pupil response. I'm going to shine this in your eyes. So we'll just look straight ahead. Okay. And they are both equally re reactive um, within normal size. Now she will assess the pupil's response to accommodation. Now the nurse will assess for six cardinal signs of gaze. This checks for cranial nerves three, four, and six. Okay, if you'll just follow my finger. Okay. And you can follow my finger. Okay. Assess cranial nerve seven by asking patient to smile and raise eyebrows. Could you smile at me? Okay, and could you raise your eyebrows? Sides are equal, and the one was sluggish. Now the nurse will assess cranial nerve 2 with Snellen chart. Kelly, um, I'm going to raise you down. Could you um, walk with me to the chart and check your vision? Okay. Point to um, a line and you tell me what I'm pointing at, okay? Okay. This is this. F. Okay. And this. T. And this. D. And this. E. Ask the patient if they have had any nasal surgeries or sinus problems. Inspect nose for occlusion or drainage. Kelly, I just need to look up your nose. You haven't had any, have you had any surgeries, any history of any issues with your nasal cavity? No, ma'am. Okay. And are you having any drainage or um, any stuffiness? No, ma'am. Now she will assess cranial nerve one by having patient close eyes and identify different smells. Okay, I'm gonna have you close your eyes and I'm gonna put one smell, if you could tell me what you smell. Okay. Yeah. Okay. And then I have one more. Okay. Linen? Yes. So cranial nerve one will be intact. 
Now the nurse will assess perineal nerve 5 by having patient close eyes and gently touch her cheek with finger. Now the nurse will assess oral ca cavity for ulcers, thrush, and dental caries. Ask patient to protrude tongue from side to side and up and down. This checks for cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12. Can you feel now for me? Are all of these teeth yours? They are. Okay. Can you stick your tongue out for me? And then up and down and then side to side? This shows cranial nerves 9, 10, and 12 are intact. Now the nurse will assess outside of ears for structural defect and ask patient if they have any problems with their ears now or in the past. And don't show any drainage or anything like that. Have you had any um, trouble with your hearing or any pain in your ears any time in the, in the past? No, ma'am. Okay. Now the nurse will inspect the external ear canal. This is to check that oracles are clean and intact with no occlusions. Now the nurse will assess patient's hearing. This checks for cranial nerve 8. Have the patient close eyes and snap your fingers. Can you um, swing your legs around to the front and sit sure. facing me? Okay. And just close your eyes and I'm going to snap and if you could just tell me which side of your head. This shows that cranial nerve 8 is intact. Now the nurse will inspect, then palpate trachea for lateral deviation. Trachea should be midline. Now the nurse will palpate for presence of lymph nodes in neck and around clavicles. Inform patient to tell you if they feel any pain while you are palpating. Any tenderness where I'm feeling? Amen. Now the nurse will palpate for carotid pulse one side at a time. Now the nurse will assess cranial nerve 11 by asking patient to shrug their shoulders against resistance and to turn head side to side. I'm going to place my hands on your shoulders if you could just shrug. Okay. And can you um, turn your head to the side? To the side. Okay. This shows that cranial nerve 11 is intact. Now the nurse will inspect skin for pallor, jaundice, or erythema. Skin sh color should be appropriate for race. Your skin is warm, dry, and intact. I do not see any lesions, any cuts or scrapes, um, color, and color is normal for race. Now the nurse will assess bilateral grips and ability to move arms. Now the nurse will assess brachial and radial pulses bilaterally. Now the nurse will assess capillary refill and skin trigger of the hands. She will note the time of cap refill and if there is any tinting. Now the nurse will put on her stethoscope and auscultate heart sounds. She will start with the right second intercostal space, which is the aortic.
Then she will go to the left second intercostal space, which is the pulmonic. Then the left fifth intercostal space is the tricuspid. And the left midclavicular line is the apical or mitral area. Now the nurse will ask the patient to lie down and inspect abdomen, then auscultate for bowel sounds starting in the lower right quadrant and finishing in the lower left quadrant. The nurse will start in the lower right quadrant. This is the ascending. Then she will move up to the transverse. Then to the left to the descending. And finish in the lower left quadrant at the sigmoid colon. Now the nurse will ask the patient to sit up and auscultate posterior lung sounds. Inquire if patient has had any respiratory problems. Can you sit back up for me? Mm -hmm. I'm just going to listen to your lungs. Okay. Do you have asthma or any lung, any lung um, issues that you know of? I mean. You've not, not had any shortness of breath or trouble breathing while you've been here? I mean. You'll just take a deep breath everywhere I place my stomach. Okay. Clear. Now the nurse will assess for femoral, popliteal, posterior tibials, and pedal pulses bilaterally. Okay, Kelly, so I'm going to fill your pulse and just make sure they're all there, all the way from your hips to your feet. If you could just lay back for me. Okay. While inspecting the legs, the nurse will assess for edema in legs and feet. There's no edema present on either lower extremity. The nurse will assess for cap refill in the feet. Capillary refill is less than three seconds. 
The nurse will assess for leg mobility. Kelly, um, are you able to flex your knee to your to your waist? Mm -hmm. Can you do the other side? And the last thing the nurse will do is check for positive Hohmann sign by pushing the patient's feet towards the patient. I'm just going to pull your um, toes towards you. If you feel any pain in your legs, if you'll just let me know. Okay. 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 And could you push down on my feet like a, like a gas pedal? Mm -hmm. That is the end of our head-to-toe physical assessment.